He is fit as a fiddle and goes about exercise the old school way. KWQC's Fran Riley reports, rather than going to a gym, this man from Grand Mound makes his own fitness equipment. Using a sledgehammer that he made, 40-year-old Ryan Pitts goes to work on the half tire. You're getting that, that whole body movement and getting strong from, from head to toe. And you use your hips to move the weight. Swinging a kettlebell, another of what Ryan calls the old-time strongman arts. I've never felt better. I'm doing stuff at 40 that I, I wouldn't even dreamed of at 20 with no, uh, no pains and, and no aches. Ryan welds training gear in this shop. He's been involved in the old time feats of strength for about 13 years. You gotta engage your legs, your core, your shoulder, your arm, and it all has to be right on cue. The routine often involves mind over matter, not allowing fear to get in the way. And that's driving a nail through a board with your hand. Get a grip. Ryan bends this steel nail. That requires amazing hand and wrist strength. I do grip contests, which uh, is a whole nother <laughs> kind of obscure sport. Um, what Highland Games, I've done the Highland Games and, and all these tools uh, helps out with that. He has sold some of his conditioning tools to college and pro football teams. When you're on the field, you're not doing anything standing on your feet. You have to move and coordinate your body, whether you're running, tackling, swinging a racket. It, it all has to work together. And this is one ride I will never forget. All right, we do. We got Fran going one arm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. that was so fun. Yeah, he's 5'10", 180 pounds, 40 years old, and he, like I said, he's fit as a fiddle. He yeah, can bench press <laughs> Chicago. Yeah, right. <laughs> Gee whiz. That's pretty amazing that, you know, people get into such a rut, I think, with their workout routine, and mm -hmm. here's some guy who just, you know, does all a bunch of old school things. And wanted to do it the old school way, yeah. as you point out. He talked about in the old days, you know, when uh, <laughs> down on the farm, they'd be building a home or doing something, you know, back in the 1800s, yeah. they didn't have a gym to go that's to. Yeah, you know? that's very true. They were pitching hay bales back then, <laughs> This guy's my hero. And look at this. I mean, did we ever get a weight on that? <laughs> well, I'm about 165. Telling. I don't okay. know what the rest of it weighs. All right. <laughs> I, I'm just tired watching him do this. Yeah, this is like a machine, and, he, you know, he goes from one shoulder to the next, and what he mm -hmm. points out is that you're using your entire body exactly. for a lot of this, you know. And the core, which is such the, the you know, such the recent discovery. you got to keep that core in shape and keep that core flexible and exercise your core. Well, this stuff was doing that, as you say, Fran, hundreds of years ago yeah. when people were just doing solid, hard work. Yeah, Does he, he do any training at all, Fran, for other people? Uh, not that I know of, but oh. I'm sure, sure if you ask, he'll <laughs> it, probably give you a swing. Yeah, you know? <laughs> that'd be really sore. He wouldn't be able to walk for But like he a month, sold but. some of this equipment to uh, Cincinnati Bengals, wow. University of Nebraska, Texas A&M, University oh. of Texas. Wow. So a lot of people buying into this, yeah. So when oh. you were swinging, how many calories did you burn off? <laughs> <laughs> not enough. <laughs> <laughs> Went to the Dairy Queen after the shoot and <laughs> replaced them all, right? Mm. Well, that looks <laughs> like fun. Thanks, Fran. If you want to watch today's story, you can be inspired and start working out and learn something of his moves, uh, just go to our website, click on the Fran Riley icon, and Fran will take your story ideas there too, as long as you promise not to put him on a contraption and swing him <laughs> around, because he's a little afraid now, but I'm just kidding, no, he's perfectly fine. Next, if